What's up guys? Um, it's Rosie here from MaddenSchool.com and I am back with another tip video for you guys. Um, this one uh, is in the 3-4 odd in the Baltimore Ravens playbook and it is specifically how to stop deuce close. Um, it's a very popular formation, especially in Mutt. It's become kind of a meta. Um, you'll see a lot in Weekend League and other stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how I stop it, how I slow it down. And in most cases, I'm able to get my opponent out of it um, by by the beginning of the game because they realize it's kind of, it's, it's kind of nothing's really there. Um, so, I play I like to do, and the coverage I like to do is 3-4 odd, Tampa 2. So we'll just pick the Tampa 2 coverage, um, and then we'll just uh, pick Wham, so you can see it against Wham and Titan Angle as well. Because uh, those are the, you know, the two most popular plays out of Deuce Close. So, this is what it looks like when you when you come out. A uh, couple setups for you. You're going to press uh, everybody. You're going to pinch your line down. You're going to crash them down, just like that. That's what we should look, our, look like right now. And then you're going to take this linebacker right here, Dante Fowler, and you're going to spy him. And then you're going to take this linebacker right here, Jack, and you're going to man him up on Jimmy Graham. Um, and this is what it should look like um, when you come out. Uh, the reason I like this so much is because you have so much traffic in the middle of the field. If they run wham, there's really nowhere to go. And then you also have um, these guys on the outside to help stop stretch. And then on the stretch, these uh, cornerbacks are actually going to really stop stretch well. They're going to um, hit, the, hit the receivers, and they're going to get a block shot on the receivers Basically every time I have clips of it, I'll show you, just so you can see. Um, and then also this, I really like the way this stops tight end angle because when you have tight end angle, you have uh, Richardson on a drag. Jimmy Graham will be on an angle route, um, and this guy manned up on Jimmy Graham will run with the angle route as long as you have somebody fast enough, he'll run with it. Um, then if they try to roll out, you have a spy to release, and this flat zone is going to take care of the deep route, and this deep zone will take care of the route in the seam in most cases. Um, so let's just run Wham, and I'll show you how it looks. Um, and how it gets kind of blown up here. So you really know where to go. If you could just get a tackle by Campbell, that would be great. Uh, you ran right into Campbell there. Um, and yeah. So yeah, that's what it looks like against um, that coverage. Really know where to go with the Wham. Let's run it again just so you guys can see. Um, okay, he's going to break a crazy tackle, but um, there's not a whole ton there. If you get a good de-tackle de -tackle block shed in Mutt, they're going to do a really good job blowing that up. Um, and I'll show you it against Titan Angle here as well one more time. Um, just so you can see, uh, so tight angle looks like that. Um, and you're going to see that the, the guy's going to get manned up here and you're really not going to have anything open. You just have to, your responsibility is to use the drag here. Um, so you see the tight end angle gets covered and there's really nothing to go to here. Everything's basically covered, um, and you're basically fine. Um, so yeah, that's it against tight end angle. One thing I want to show you guys before I hop into the clips is that if they go to the other hash, let's say, uh, oops, I actually, I can pick another play. Um, uh, they do close, tight end angle. Um, angle formation two. Um, if the, if the ball is respotted to the other hash, you're gonna want to do it the opposite way. So, in terms of spying. So again, press pinch line, um, and you're actually gonna. Oh, I'm in cover three here actually, on accident. Um, you're actually going to want to spot put me and this guy up, and then spy this guy because they're most likely gonna run tight angle to the right here. Uh, they're not gonna run it to the left because they want to have more space through the corner out. So you'll see here again if we see tight angle. Um, you check it. Usually the drag and everything else is covered. Nothing really open. Uh, and Clay's Campbell's gonna get a block shed, and then Miles Jackson come get him. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the deuce close for the setup. I'm gonna show you guys a couple clips after this of how I'm stopping it, um, and then we're gonna get out of here. So guys, so a couple clips here of how I'm stopping deuce close. This is against my buddy Fitz Magic, who's a deuce close master. So he tries to run a stretch here, and like I said, the receiver, the receivers outside are gonna get block shed by the corners. Nowhere to go. Three yard loss. Um, and then here's the next play when he runs wham again. Nowhere to go. Um, there's so much traffic in the middle of the field that there's really nowhere for him to go. And then here's Ted and Angle again, Spy and the man up. Um, and my one responsibility is the drag here, so you'll see uh, he's got the Spy. I use the drag, release the Spy, nowhere to go with the ball. Corner route's covered, um, and we got him in a box. Um, so then on the next play, uh, he's going to go back to Wham here, and you see that we're ready for it again uh, with the same setup. Uh, we can stop the Wham as well. Um, I really forced him. So this time I actually blissed everybody because I didn't want him to have time to pass the ball. Um, so he gets outside again, nowhere to go. Uh, everybody's there and we're able to stop it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is my Deuce Close defense. I think it's pretty good. I Fitz think it's, it's one of the best run defenses that he's played this year. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, peace.